Okay, so we uh, took a little uh, side trip here off the road to see a cenote called Shusha. And um, we haven't really seen any cenotes, but there's millions of them around the Quintana Roo in Yucatan. So we're gonna try and take in a bunch of cenotes over the next couple days. We uh, left our island paradise there, Holbosch, this morning. That was um, an incredible... Uh, good two days. Yeah, that was, that was really nice. Yeah. Had a lot of uh, good relaxing there. So we're back on the road and uh, the van was good. Where it was parked, it was well taken care of. So yeah, can't, uh, can't complain. Okay, so this is our first cenote experience. So we are walking down subterranean that's where we're heading no idea what to expect of this one it's looking pretty pretty wild though dark oh wow look at this thing Oh my goodness. Wow. That is really cool. Well, let's continue our descent here. I bet you it'll be cold. Wow. Too much. Okay, gotta keep going. Next level. Wow. Oh, it's so clear. Just as clear and clean as anything. And you can see the hole above where the sun's coming through. And then right down to the water. Yeah. Look how clear and there's fish in there. There's one over here, I think. A couple fish. Hard to see that. Sanote Suitun. Okay. We're at our next cenote on our cenote tour of the uh, Yucatan and Quintana Roo. This is Cenote Suitun. And they, we have made an arrangement that we can uh, actually stay here the night. They have a cabins, but a campground as well, and that's where we're staying. So it's got a pool and everything. Wow, this is huge. You can see the stalactites. Apparently in the morning they have a um, ceremony out on that uh, pad there with uh, a Mayan ceremony. Not sure if we're going to stay to see it, but I hear it brings in a lot of tourists. Good morning. Well, we're in the town of Homun 
and um, it's kind of off the grid but they've got a lot of cenotes around here so we're gonna take a little moto taxi uh, for the day and go and see some of the uh, some of the cenotes so we're just uh, staying at this um, fantastic little uh, retreat it's um, a restaurant with a I think they have rooms as well and they said we could park in their parking lot for free as long as we use the restaurant and the restaurant is fantastic and very very inexpensive um, they've also offered us showers um, and everything for no extra charge Wi-Fi they are so friendly such nice people um, we got laundry done yesterday we did pay for that and we are tipping well because they have been really really good to us so anyhow we're gonna go and see what some of these cenotes are like should be interesting Here we go haven't been in something like this since India. So uh, these things are kind of fun. Okay, we got a little hold up in traffic here. <laughs> we just stopped at the um, clothing store. Um, somehow my um, only swimsuit went missing. So we had to stop there to get a new set, which cost me dollars so uh, yeah could be interesting to see how they uh, they work out but uh, if they don't if I have a um, wardrobe failure I'll be sure to show you Cheers. Things are killers, topes, They're speed bumps. You don't want to hit one of them. Yeah, so a lot of these cenotes are on some pretty uh, rough back roads. We, we were going to take the uh, van and do this uh, tour, but. It really uh, didn't make sense uh, when we looked at the cost of it and uh, beating up the van. So these uh, little moto taxis are uh, are perfect for uh, for what we're doing today, as you can see. So our uh, first cenote is uh, Cenote Las Tres Oches. So we'll check it out. And I'll tell you, if on that ride, how rough it was, if you had an upset stomach, you would definitely want to be wearing long pants and rubber boots for that ride. Sad to say, but I would. Cheers. Okay, so we're going down, and I don't know where this little fellow came from, but he's right at the side of the wall here of the cenote. Hey, pooch. And this. Uh, Whoa. Very dark blue. Yeah. Yep. Uh, I don't know about this. <laughs> Here we go. Okay. Ready? Whoa. <laughs> Woo! Woo! Ouch. Ouch. <laughs> yeah, I heard I that. Yeah, I heard that. Okay, there you are. You did get in. I did get in. Yeah, but you went in the wimpy way. Why? You, I, I you didn't. You didn't jump off of. No. Nope. Up went, there. Yeah. There's like 10,000 little black fish swarming me now. Oh, this is uh, really nice. And they're little nibblers, I can feel them. Very nice. Okay, we ran into some uh, friends along the way. This is our safari uh, cenote tour. Big horns on them. <laughs> Look at the baby. Pretty cute. Hold on. Oh, gotta get a dog in there. Okay, cenote number two. Yashpakultun. 
Yeah, this is a much bigger one. You can see all the birds flying around. They're not bats. Look at these crazy birds flying at us. That's fine swallows that do that. They're just going in circles here. We're in their territory. Wow. I swear these things are following us as we go down. Really beautiful. Okay, we got a scary guy there. Good thing they don't have these in the cenotes. He's looking hungry. I think we better leave him alone. I don't know the name of this one. It's not really marked. Looks kind of weird. A little sketchy here. <laughs> but anyhow, nevertheless, we got to go. It costs uh, 70 pesos to get into each of these cenotes, which is about just over three bucks. That's a um, buck and a half each. That is. Okay, so this one's way down. It's a smaller one, but. Wow. This is jumping. Oh, <laughs> no. No? <laughs> no jumping from here. <laughs> wow. Mm. It's really deep. Pretty interesting down here. Very neat. Come on out so we can see on the film. Hey, no rush to the film. <laughs> <laughs> Wave. Can hardly can, see you? can hardly see ya. <laughs> Wow. It's different. Not very nice? Yeah. Very, very. Nice. cold? No. Nope. Same temperature. Alright, I don't know if you can see this, but that is a root system that goes all the way to the top. To the tree outside. So we're continuing our cenote safari. It's uh, it's funny. There's a lot of these in the area, but they're all back in the middle of nowhere. So it takes quite a bit to get to them. It's kind of nice to see them because a lot of the bigger ones that we've seen at the beginning um, a couple days ago. They were a lot more touristy where you can get bus loads of people coming in. So these, these are more um, laid back and you don't have all the, uh, the tourists. Oftentimes you're the only one here. So it really makes it authentic. Okay, our next uh, cenote is Hul Kasom. So I think that's how you pronounce it, I hope. <laughs> we'll uh, check it out. Huh? Gracias. So a lot of the cenotes have a hole up above. Um, actually, the ones that have it are usually more pretty because when the light from the sun shines down, it creates so much 
light on the water and makes it much better, but that's what it looks like from the top. So our next cenote on our cenote safari is Balmil. So let's see what it looks like. Yeah, so this cenote has more uh, stalactites. Okay, so we're at our sixth cenote for today and probably our final one and it's called San Antonio. And this is a bit of a treacherous walk down because things are wet. Okay. Wow, this is quite the, the hole. Let's see if it's worth it. Oh my gosh. Okay, this has definitely been the hardest one to get down. But here we go. Survey says. Ah, oh, nice. Very different. Very different. Well, how is it? Cold but nice, she says. These are nice. They're they're not freezing, and they're not hot. They're just the right temperature because it is really hot outside. So it's so refreshing coming into these, and um, perfect thing to do on a hot day. A cenote safari.